I'm uh, going to talk to you today about a favorite of mine in the genus Dracula. It's uh, this little thing here. It's, uh, you can see that okay. And let's go in a little bit closer and allow it to focus. I'll put some pictures up anyway, some macro pictures up in the, in the talk as we go. This little thing here is uh, called Dracula Filiodites. And uh, it's a species from Colombia, up towards the Venezuelan border. And it's a it's closely related to the more common Dracula Benedictii. And Dracula Benedictii is found further west, and it's uh, over a much wider area. This this particular species is restricted to a valley, uh, and uh, over in the eastern part of the Cordillera, it's it's much wetter there as well. And so that that's telling me a little bit about the culture of this plant. And I do grow this one very wet. It's, uh, it also grows a little bit outside of, away from the fan as well. Fans just directly above my head. And the, the problem with this greenhouse that I always encounter is the air circulation. So with, the air, with, it, with it being so humid, uh, I find that the air circulation can make the plants rot because it's just not enough. We will probably get another fan in here at some point uh, over the next year. So this little species here is, uh, well, it's not little because it's actually bigger than Benedictio. And that's one of the benefits of this particular flower that you don't get with, with Benedictio. And you usually get more than one flower on the plant as well. So much bigger, much bigger. And the, the, the flower of Benedictio is almost about half the size of this one. So if you do like the, the size and the shape of Benedictio, then you're certainly going to like this one. The other benefit is that it grows horizontally out of the pot rather than directly downwards like Benedictii does. So Benedictii, you really need that in a netted pot. Truly appreciate the plant. This one here, you can actually grow not in a, in a, in a normal standard pot, like I'm growing here. There aren't many other Dracula species that grow like this. You know, here's, a, here's Dracula Dodsonii, which, which is growing like that in one of these pots. But you generally, you can't, you just can't do it. Uh, with, with the other species, here's a, here's a um, this one desperately needs a repot. It shows a, it was Pertus's Minax, it's looking like it, so of course it's not, no, they never are. But uh, I think this is our, this is an Equigenera, yeah, Dracula Minax, it's, our, it's a Hirsuta. Uh, but yeah, they, they generally grow downwards like that, so you always need them in a netted pot. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Dracula Filiodites from Colombia.